Hello, guys. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Today we are playing Dragon Quest XI. Now, I was playing Until You Rise Up pretty earlier, but I wasn't streaming it. I was just trying to get level 3 staff unlocked. I was basically running around trying to unlock the skill tree. I still haven't got item rebuild though. That'll probably be the next thing I unlock or, you know, getting staff quality up. Mm -hmm. We're getting staff and, staff and gathering quality up because it seems like materials are tied to that. Anyway, Dragon Quest XI, this is quite a good game. This is quite a game, and I love it. Well, is it a little too loud? Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, while I turn that down. It appears to be... Is it picking up the air conditioning? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's... Hold on while I fix that real quick. I think that should be good. Alright, now. I apologize for that. Alright, why am I in Costa Valor? Well, uh... I actually, you know, did some things around. I actually was grinding a little bit. I was trying to get materials to up, to make some things for, for future boss battles. Namely, I want to make things for Booga. I wish I had more gold ore so, you know, I could have some stuff for, you know... I could have made things for, you know, Avarith, but, you know... And aside from the skill... Aside from her locking your spells and skills, she's not that tough. Right now, just let me relearn the controls real quick. <laughs> Alright, we had a quest in Agrila that I... I kind of did behind the scenes because it kind of requires pet power and pet power is kind of random. And getting pet powers to actually work for you is kind of random since they kind of do whatever they want, really. I apologize for that. Besides, it's not tied to a recipe book or anything, it's just... Oh yeah, I did get the bells bow. I should definitely get that. I definitely... I hey, look at Kitty. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Unfortunately, you can't pet it in this game. I mean, uh, all video games should have, you know, animal petting mechanics. Yeah, let you pet all the animals, really. Yeah, like go. Yeah, just pet all the animals, yes. Yeah, well, I did the thing. Alright, I got the mystic. I don't even need the I don't even need this thing. I don't really need this thing really. Alright, we do have to go outside because Zoom does actually have a, does actually have a limit. Alright, where were we supposed to go? Wait. Wait a minute. Can I unlock that? Oh no. Eh, well, as long as I head for the campsite, it should be too. It shouldn't be too far away. Mm, I apologize profusely. I thought I had it on the map for some reason. That's okay. It's just gonna require a little bit of walking. Oh wait, or maybe not. Yeah, let's get ourselves a horse. I love horses. I love, you know, horse. Horse riding in this game is much cooler than you know, an Ocarina of Time. You know, because you don't have to worry about the carrots. <laughs> I really shouldn't say that. Ocarina of Time is a classic, and yes, I do love Ocarina of Time. Yeah. But look here, look, listen. You get unlimited sprint with this horse, plus you bow down enemies. I'm just glad I don't, you know, have to hunt ghosts for a big bows for a bottle. Because that particular side quest can be a little bit frustrating a little. Can be a little frustrating. 
but they're not that. The big bows themselves aren't that bad, but some of them are in locations where they want, where they really, they really wouldn't want them to be. All right, we need to head to Camp Savage. We need to head over to Champ Savage. And while I'm over here, I might as well. I might as well set up a camp. I see Hendrik is training. That's good, and right now, I would really, really love to get myself another party member. All right, Champ Savage is this way. All right, we might as well step by the account. Metal Academy, not to really get anything, but you know, just to have it on the map. Because if you get there, you uh, unlock it on the map. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I apologize for not streaming for the past couple days. I wanted to a little bit, but you see, I you see, my work as a superhero is very dangerous. Yeah. And there's lots of really, really not nice people that, you know, want to cause trouble all the time. Mm. Mainly Red Moon, the villainous organization that I am fighting. Since they really, really, really like to... They really like to cause trouble. I mean, uh... There's a whole lot, there's a whole lot of villains for them. They're, basic, they're basically the Legion of Doom of the lore. Kind of. You know, if they were more focused on, you know, terrorism and stuff. If they were more focused on also if they were more focused on things like terrorism and, you know straight up just killing straight up just causing a whole bunch of trouble throughout the multiverse. Honestly though, isn't it basically just the Legion of Doom really? No, uh, actually they're not. Red Moon's logo is an upside down, is a sideways red, red crescent moon. Yeah, by that I mean it's like it's, it's like it's on its side, yeah. Like it's a U. Yes. Don't ask me why it's like a U. Oh, say, what's this? What's this material? I know sometimes in the apocalypse some materials can be a little bit different. Also, why am I going to the area? I don't need to be there. That's one place I don't need to go. Right, I'm a little confused as where to go. Because I got really distracted. Yes, one thing about me is that I'm really distracted by shinies. I really shouldn't get distracted. There's nobody currently in chat yet. <laughs> oh well, we'll say... Oh well, luckily this embarrassing goth will definitely not be immortalized on the internet for everybody to see. <laughs> well, maybe a little. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of why I want to be good at video games, because I'm always afraid of that kind of thing. I'm always afraid, you know, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna be like, you know, get good. Somebody's gonna be like one of those, you know, toxic get good type of people. <laughs> But you kind of have to calm down about a little. After all, video games are serious business. <laughs> and you know, I get the I get the idea behind you know get good. <laughs> but yeah, you really do have to get good to really beat some of the big bosses and everything. And I understand that. However. However, that kind of thing can be a little bit toxic. Since even in Dark Souls, there are there are tactics that you do use against enemies. You just have to you just be all of it's basically just pattern recognition. Mm. E even with more, you know, adaptive AI that you know adapts with you. Even with more adaptive AI, it's it's definitely it's definitely, you know. Still pattern play, I think. I think that's right to say, isn't it? 
So even Elden Ring, even in Soulsborne's games, enemies do strictly have a pattern. Kind of, it's not, it's not like it's super, it's not like it's a simple pattern. Don't get me wrong. All right, I should probably do some action, why not? All right, let's fight a couple bad guys, huh? Oh, I actually need a material from this guy. All right, the mounts are gonna be a little bit tough because they have rather high HP. All right, get him, get him, Rab. There we go. I got rather decent HP. Another victory. Oh, is that a malicious corp? Is that a vicious corp, Scorpel? All right, these guys do have seeds that they can drop. Fortunately, they're going to have quite a bit of HP. Luckily, Sir Hendrick is very good at chewing right through their HP. Sadly, his best move is a single target. Alright, cutting edge, hopefully that's enough. Yep. Yeah, why do I need to use Unbridled Blade? I don't need that. Nah. Nah, I don't need Unbridled Blade. Not for those guys. All right, let's go. Let's poke a let's poke a horse in the butt with our with our little crossbow gun. Ten amount. There's two ten amounts. Uh, we gotta be careful. These guys are actually pretty tough. Not gonna lie. Yeah, there we go. All right, cutting edge, go. Whack! I feel like I'm on the cutting edge of entertainment. At least I wish I was. I wish I was though. All right, I actually need this right so I can get over the water. All right, yeah, get hero pets, yeah. All right, hero is the highest level party member we got right now, so we're gonna take a little bit of advantage of him. Do one shot all the enemies. All right, we got oh, colorful cocoon. Yeah, I do want that. Whatever, I do want the colorful cocoon for whatever reason. I guess it's a good item. Oh, crafting materials are always good to get. That's why I have all those eight bunny tails. Even though I know Inabin is all upset about, hey, you got them from my people. Nah, I, I actually didn't, you know? You know, not, not, not every bunny is good. Not every bunny is a nice bunny, you know? Yeah, some bunnies are really mean. And you don't want to eat you. Some bunnies are really mean and want to eat you. <laughs> like the killer rabbit of Serpentog. Um, I, I don't believe Enabin's related to the killer rabbit of Serpentog. <laughs> Besides it, there's all sorts of bunny monsters in fiction. I blame the bunny. I, I know that Bunny Python is probably, you know, the number one inspiration for that. Because of course it is. Of course it is. Why would it not be? Oh wow, they're letting dudes inside here, yes. Hopefully you're not like the dude at Erica's gym. <laughs> yeah, you remember that dude in the original Red and Blue that, you know, was at Erica's gym and, you know, was uh, a little bit of a uh, weirdo? Yeah, they uh, censored that in future releases. Mm. You don't really believe the dude that was blocking the way was, you know, just a... Uh, Having an afternoon snooze, do you? <laughs> yeah, he was passed out drunk in, you know, ja in the Japanese version. <laughs> mm. I mean, I mean, uh... Yeah, guys, don't drink. Remember, guys, don't drink. Don't do the, don't do the alcohol. There we go, whack him out, yeah. By the way, I should probably tell you something very, very true. Are you ready? Ah, uh, you know, Disney is actually fake propaganda. Yeah, uh, Yeah, very bad fate want you to believe they're like Tinkerbell or, you know, the fairy godmother, yeah. So they can do bad stuff to you. Yeah, please don't trust the fake propaganda. Don't believe the fake propaganda, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know I am strictly not supposed to tell you that, but you know, 
But, you know, they're not kind of superimposed the rule on me, which says I don't have to do what, you know, what any of them say. <laughs> which is an irrevocable rule since it's, you know, with since uh, Luna is kind of a being that, you know, is much higher than they are. He's even stronger than Titania, and Titania is really, really strong. Vicious lot mages! You can tell they're vicious because they have red glowing eyes! Yeah, that's the number one sign of being vicious. Your red glowing eyes, yes. That's how you know they're evil. <laughs> that's how you know these monsters are evil and, you know, uh... You know, don't make good wives. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, where's one of those, uh, you know, wasp dudes? I want to get one of those wasp dudes. Sparkly one. Where's the sparkly wasp dude? Get over here. In all retrospect, I probably- Oh no, they made the first strike! Oh no! That's not good. Oh no, confusion! I don't like that! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, now. We're Falcon Slash, go! Falcon Slash! It's sort of like Falcon Punch, but you know, not, not quite as devastating. Although, then again, this game was made by the people who made Dragon Ball. Who knows, maybe maybe the Falcon Slash really is that powerful. Yeah, can you believe that, you know, F-Zero had an anime, but you know... You know, there's no F-Zero stuff anymore. It's dead, like my soul. It's dead and empty like my soul. Empty like my soul, dead like my soul, burning like my soul. Burning in the hellfire. Alright, there's gotta be good stuff over here. What's, oh, the ethereal stone. I probably want that. That's a rare material. Rolling around on my giant bug. You know, this reminds me of the, one of the of a book I read once. There was some, there was some, there was some good guys running around on giant wasps. They're trying to stop this bad dude empire that you know had a bunch of you know uh, mosquitoes that were there riding on. They wanted to spread virus to the to Earth. Uh oh, oh no, it's a weird cat. The man is in danger. We need to save him. I like that. I like this game. Yeah, this is this is how this is how heroes are. Prepare yourself, file monster! Ah, wait! <laughs> and of course, Lovando steals the show! <laughs> Get him, Silvando! Oh, no, you don't, honey! Not unless you want to carry those claws home in a bag! Yeah, it's gonna go back to terrorizing him. Get him, Silvando! Man, I wish Sofanda was a fan fighter, but like much like Red in, you know, the Dragon Quest VIII remake. I feel like he'd be really OP with fans. Yeah, they'd probably be his one skill that he's actually really good at. What an what an excellent for what an excellent performer. Yes, it is, Silvando. Hey, Silvando, what do you want? So oh, You two are painted. What, what, what is it you do exactly? Uh, you know, uh, Silvando is the moral support, yes. Also, he's really, really powerful. He, like, shoots pink hearts at least. He, he, like, shoots out pistol kisses at bad guys. And also does a pink pirouette that does a lot of damage to all the bad guys. Also, he has knives. <clears throat> also, he compliments Eric really well, and he also has a heal spell. <clears throat> he kind of does. He kind of does a lot of cool things. <laughs> but never mind that now. I can Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I'm... No, no, I am not. Yes, he is. My name is Dark. Sure, I'll help you head home. 
All right, now let's do our arm. Let's get. Let's do. Let's do bodyguard work. Remember, modern. Remember, superheroes are supposed to be knight errands. Yes. This is the kind of stuff superheroes do. Yes. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, okay. I guess I'm in that costume now. <laughs> Alright now, I guess we're participating in a parade. Excellent. You know, I've never actually been in a parade. I'm not sure... I've only seen parades on TV. Probably because I don't live in one of those big places where, you know, parades are really all that relevant. Wait! Hendrick and Rab have clown costumes?! Oh, wow, look at Hendrick. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. Why are we waving our arm like that? Yeah. I guess we're keeping in rhythm, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so Vondo is quite the character, yeah. Rolling around. What, you wanna fight? Prepare yourself to be smited by clowns. Cheater cheat, cheetahs! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! Well, you know they're gonna be using some dishonorable tactics. Get wrecked. Alright, now whack him with your stick. Whack him with my stick of justice. Splash! So wash buckling, yeah. Adversaries purified. We shall purify all the adversaries, yes. Our hero, get him. Yeah, there we go. Oh wow, that is a lot of bad guys. All right now. Coming it on the cutting edge of on the cutting edge of greatness. Oh yeah. How do you like that? C crack! Let's get a little cold up in here. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta say them silly one-liners. Yes. Uh, do we do we silly court fairy? Do you remember? Do you think have to really say those things? Goodness no. I guess i would get. I'll probably get a little old after a while. But you know. But you know, people really really like it when you say those one-liners. Yes. <laughs> Alright, Hendrick, do the queer fucking slash. Oh no, a scorch get! Alright, now. Bump! Alright, queer fucking slash, go! Mm. Alright, now. Let's get a little cold. Let's get a little cold hearted, yeah. Get him, Silvano? Yeah! Adversaries purified. Excellent. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alright, I'm just gonna bash this tree real quick. Some flowers and some sparkly sap. Yo, what the heck is that? Yo, what the heck are these? Bad guy. More bad guys. Oh no! Alright, let's get on the cut. Alright, now. Spin the win! Whack! What? He dodged! You're not supposed to dodge that! What? You like dodged that! Uh, I had perfect accuracy, but you know, uh, it, it said my attack missed? <laughs> uh, obviously, that's a game's fault. Nothing I can do. <laughs> I am only joking, of course. That, that's called a joke, guys. <laughs> I do it all the time, guys. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be a little toxic like the true gamer. <laughs> Speaking of which, Booga is probably a re is probably a true gamer. <laughs> yeah, because he's pretty toxic. 
Not that he really poisons you, he does a lot of toxic stuff, though. <laughs> oh, right, I remember why I wanted to, you know, get to the Metal Academy now. Frick. And I'll go back later. And here we are. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> the whole world is just so dreary these days. Yeah, it's called the Apocalypse, Mr. Silvando. It tends to make people really dreary. My memory is broken. The truth goes unspoken. You must go. What are you... What's going on? I wonder what can have made him venture in the... Why is the town so quiet? Agents of happiness? All right, now. Our agents of... All right, the agents of smile are going to spread a little smile spreading parade around here. <laughs> spreading smiles at the speed of light. Why do I? Sh why can I not shake the feeling that Sofando and I have met somewhere before? Well, yeah, I probably did. Uh, you see, Sofando, you know, does have a past. He used to be an epic knight. He used to be a knight in training. To his home somewhere in a village, huh? Rolling, 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 raw hide. His house is somewhere in a village. Oh, wow. Alright, now. What if we go here? Where are Oh, there. Do you know where I'm going? Alright, where is the house exactly? I don't think I'll find out over here. Alright, maybe the oh, this is the right house. Da, you are okay. Oh, what a relief. Especially after your little son is missing, you know? Especially after little Oh no, there's his son has been kidnapped. Hey now. No, his son has gone missing. It's very hard for him. You're in a village with your foul fiend soon after you get yourself fell. Aw, oh, we gotta save her. Money, husbands, wives, even children? Uh oh. Well, I don't want monsters having uh, having those things. But the wicked creature, love, she did not of course, she took them. Why? Why would you trust a random monster in you know a game where monsters are you know villains? Really? Don't worry, Aberth is gonna go down. Oh, it'll take more than a Night's word is his bond, huh? Wait. Went south with everything she All right, now we have an evil doer to punish. Let's go get him. Let's go get them in the name of justice. Hmm. Ah, punishment. Pun pounding, 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 pounding. I summon Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in attack mode. Actually, I can kind of do that, you know, in Labyrinth decks. I do have all the Labyrinth cards, though. I just, you know. And let me see a few key components. Though you have heard Red Eyes Fusion is actually pretty good in that deck since we are not really doing a lot of special summoning and except during your opponent's turn. Hey, you have a quest, what do you want me to do? Uh, Rainbow Rock Salts. Monsters have taken over the place. Alright, here. Oh, you got Mithril Ore. Rana de Fonte. Sounds like some kind of cave. There are salts in the middle of it. Oh wow, that's gonna be quite a while away. It's gonna be a bit away. 
It is a little bit out of the way, but you know, I think it should be fine. I don't think any of these weapons are going to be very good. Because the spirit's half good. No, it's about the same. Well, we can get a King's Axe for Hendrik. Nah, but we're not using axes right now for him. We're using normal swords because I like because I like Wear Falcon Slash. The only bad part is Sir Hendrik will lose out on the you know, group attack. Since axes are the ones that have that. Plus in exchange for some power, I am sacrificing some a little bit of the a little bit of you know the defense down with the axes. Yeah, you know. I'm definitely not using great swords for Hendrik, as you know. Great sword since great swords are not very good for Hendrix, not compared to Hero anyway. Hero is definitely the way better great sword user. Wow, we're still Wow, they're still dressed as clowns right now. All right, so Vondo, let's go help the let's go help the townsfolk. All right, all right. If I were a bad guy and we're trying to hide, if I were a bad guy trying to hide from the law, where would I hide? Probably in a little cave or something. You know, if we were up against a robber baron, eh, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I should make, maybe I should make a gang name. So, you know, like a royal family, but you know, they're a royal family of gangsters, but you know, they're all based on, you know, they're all based on lords, they're all based on knights and stuff. But you know, they're robbers. They're robber barons, yeah. I think that'd be pretty good. Yeah, gotta have some lower, gotta have some lower tier villains to help bounce things out. <laughs> Alright, Savando. Yo, what are you? Alright, do we want to fight you? Yes, I do. Alright, what do you got? Vicious Jockalies! Oh no, gotta be careful, this guy's vicious! Alright, hopefully Cutting Edge will be enough to take him down. Ah, that was not enough. Ah, actually, he's pretty close to dead. If I did Unbridled Blade, it'd probably take him out in one hit. If I did Unbridled Blade, it'd take him out in one hit. Alright, we gotta be careful ours. I do remember that Aberdeath does have, you know, an ability to seal skills, which is not really good for me. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be fine now. I'm sure it'll be fine here. We're at a really high level. Well, maybe except for Hendrik. Aside from Hendrik, we're at a pretty good level. We're going we're going to we're going to hunt down a monster that's been kidnapping people from the village. Don't worry, now that we're here, we're going to we're going to get that monster. No. If you are going sure, I'll get that necklace. We'll get that necklace back. Don't worry. Oh, don't be such a spoiler sport, Henry. We are looking. Alright, the boy's your responsibility. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, now let's get let's go get Aberth and teach that let's go teach them that the greedy kidneys are a bad idea. Let's go teach them that the greedy kidneys and, you know, it's not cool to steal from people, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's never cool to steal. <laughs> mm. I mean, lots of bad guys love to, love to steal, love to steal not because they're suffering, but because, you know, they're entitled. Suppose 
You want that? You want something to sweeten the deal, huh? But I've got the perfect thing. Okay, let's engage with a fair trade with this one. Wait. If you wish to make a deal, I have something for you. Something soft and warm and fragrant. Something I just know you are going to. Oh, what is this going to be, Savando? What is it? What is it? Well, I'm going to give you this. What'd you give him? Let me see, let me see. Oh, I spin the hour! <laughs> Get trolled! Everyone's got trolled and now they're mad! <laughs> yeah, so I know she's trolling. Uh oh. And of course they start to. Uh, the party was prevented from guessing spells. Oh no, that's not good. They got it. They got the drop on us. Well, we may be able. To, we may be stopped from casting spells, but that's not gonna stop me. All right, unbridled blade. Let's go. Ooh, whack! Take that damage. How do you like that? We're fucking slash. Ooh, whack! 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 Yeah. How do you like that? All right now. Pearly Gates Unleash! Whack! Boom! Get him, Silvando! Yeah! Cassis! Oh no! Ouch, it's burning red hot! Uh oh, it's bu he's buffing his defense! Alright now! Unbridled Blade! Whack! How you like that? Alright, Queer Falcon Slash! One, two, three, four! Yeah, how do you like that? All right now, pearly gates, go! Boom! Get him out of here! <laughs> How do you like that? Mm. That's why you do not have the greedy give me's. Get out of here! Yeah, get get turned into purple smoke, nerd. <laughs> Yeah, they tried to double dip in a pot of grade. That's why they got punished. Now let's get everybody's stuff back. Everybody. What are you already leaving capturing these people for? Ah, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> well, if they're like any fire emblem, then it's like kind of no why. <laughs> Don't worry, saving you is elementary, my dear. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, let's get that necklace. Alright, it appears to be in... Oh no, it's damaged! No, it's broken! Like my soul. Don't worry. If he ever tell you it's the thought that counts, it could be smashed. I mean, we have a mini forge. We could probably, re you know, rebuild it and repair it, and you know, make it even higher quality. Time to take <clears throat> that could be our next quest. <laughs> yeah, why you could just give me free? I got perfectionist pearls. I can do it. Alright, let's search these shields. Let's search these cells for, you know, important stuff. Say, there's a bookshelf here. What? Oh, that book is probably for later. That's for a side quest for later. Unfortunately, I can't think I can't get it right now. That's for a side quest for later. Fortunately, we won't be able to do that for right now. Mm. You know, being able to repair items for people that, you know, monsters kind of broke is, you know, something we could do. 
That'd probably make a good that'd probably make a good alchemy related quest. <laughs> Sorry, I have a tail here on the brain, don't I? Man, I can't believe we're still wearing these silly costumes. Hey what? Red! Uh Hendrick, you're out of character. Why am I still in character? Alright, I got the Marty Crew on. Yeah, I'll equip my mark. I'll equip the mark. I'll equip the dragon mail. What? <laughs> oh. mm. Yo, where's your clown costumes? I'm sorry, we haven't un we haven't actually un officially unlocked that yet. I'm sorry, we don't have those. Yeah, that's okay. Now let's get all this stuff back. Wait. That Saving the day at the speed of light. That's what heroes do. Cause we're good guys. Mm. Dun, 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 Superman. Mm. Superman, Superman does whatever super can. Actually having our spell sealed was not really that big of a deal. We had a bunch of techniques that weren't spells. I knew I knew they were I knew that Everest was gonna start off with was gonna start off with something nasty. What the you know that. For some reason I thought it was ceiling skills and not spells. Yeah, there are two different things in this game. Sorry, I guess I didn't quite remember. No a doggo! Can I pet the doggo? Yeah, you can pet the dog in this game. You can pet the dog in Dragon Quest Eleven! I love that. I like petting doggos. Oh there, what do you want me to do? Alright now. I will definitely go tell Da. Don't jump like a kangaroo. Jump, jump like a kangaroo. Hop, hop like a bunny. Hop, hop like a bunny. Mm. Of course, uh, a super powered rabbit should be able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. <laughs> you know, Superman didn't you know, actually originally start with the ability to fly? Yeah, it was something that, you know, they, that, you know, Superman ripped off from another superhero. <laughs> it was Captain Marvel. And there were two, there were like, there was DC and Marvel both doing the same character known as, both doing different characters known as Captain Marvel, so, you know, DC changed Captain Marvel to Shazam. <laughs> If I had lost you, I would have lost everything. You. Oh. I'm glad you're... you could have been killed. Oh, look at this. We reconciled the family, yes. You said that That's so good. I like that. I like that we reconciled the family. Of course he cared about you. Also, you look like you have the same character model as, you know, that that one info broker. <laughs> to think it was all but a misunderstanding. Yes, if only. Devando, are you okay? It just reminds me of issues with my dad, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you for calling us true heroes. The first time we met, but I had to pretend. In case the monsters came back and realized that I lied. Oh, okay. Where's my friend with the pheasants? Okay, yes, I agree, Mr. Hendrick. Hello there, where'd Silfando go off to? Head up the stairs, huh? Alright, let's go talk to Savando. Savando, where are ya? Hello, Savando, where'd you go? Mm. 
I got really hyped for that fight. Of course, the most hyped fight in this game. The most hyped fight. The most hyped fight, fight in this game will be against that uh, Buga. Which we are going to be able to fight soon. We're going to have to get our shit. We're going to have to get our shit now. Hey, Mr. Savando, what do you want me to do? Never mind. But there are some who will... But there are some that will never be renamed with their loved ones. Some Bridget. Can I ask you something? More than... You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight... Of course we want to fight Morgan. We want to stop him. Before he causes any more harm. He's caused a lot of harm, really. But it was enough. And we have to stop him before he causes even more. But there's something I want you It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon. But I can't do that to my You can't? So we have to leave them somewhere safe. With somebody. Well, there's no good way of saying this. Sure, I'll come with you, Mr. Savando. Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Meet you outside the village, sure. Alright, Savando wants us to do something for him, so we're gonna do it. Of course, let's be nice to him. Of course, what are your friends for? I like this game. I like it a lot. This is just straight up... I mean, it may not be a super, you know, complex story or anything. It's just, you know, classic heroic fantasy. Yeah, and I quite like that. Sorry, we haven't gotten your rainbow salt yet. I didn't even know salt came in rainbow. Oh, well, that's a... that's a... Of course, the benefits of living in a magic world. Everything is magical and magically delicious. My memory is broken. Smoke weed every day, every day. Da-da-da-da-da. It's the one and only D.O. Double G. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg. Da-da-da-da-da. Your mother was a D.O.E. Smoke weed every day. We love we say weed. Alright, Savando. Don't worry. We need Darlings, I My parading day. Oh what? But do not fear. It will only be for a little mm -hmm. while. I will return as soon as the Lord... Want to defeat the Lord of Shadows? Why can't we come with you to do it? Because it's dangerous and, you know, we can't... You guys can't... Someone's got to stop him, yes. Yeah, you go and do what... We'll be heartbroken without you, of course. We'll survive. Oh. Alright, now what are we gonna do? Exactly. We'll never have my puppy look after you in Porto Fowler. And I won't be. Oh, you're a Porto Fowler. Wait. <laughs> you cannot be Don Rodrigo's son. You but yes, I am. <laughs> 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 All right, my little champions of cheese. Yeah. Oh, this is very, this is very awkward entertainment, but you know. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Mister Hendrick. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> the, the noblest and most revered of doubt knights. I always assumed he would follow in his father's footsteps, but he decided, you know, to uh, he, to become an entertainer. Yes. The boy left part of the never to return. All right, now let's follow the parade to where to our destination. Mm 
Yo, can I please take... Nope, I can't take this up. Wait, uh... Alright, uh... Ah, right, here we go. Yeah, get me, get me in this outfit, yeah. Dragon Quest 8 hero, yes. <laughs> if only this, if only this up, you know, the goofy hand waving. Alright, we need to head back to Custa Valor. Which is... Goodness, quite a while away. Wait, we can just go to the Casta Valor from... We can just go to the Casta Valor, you know, campsite. Oh well, might as well do that. And then before I... Mm, Alright, we're gonna get... We're gonna help your... Help her, we're gonna help Silvando, you know, reunite with his father. Mm. All right, Costa Valor is just through the what? It's just through the sea cave over here. Oh wait, shouldn't we get a ride? Ah, we don't need a ride. Oh, the horse would be faster to move around in, wouldn't it? Oh well. Actually, I do have something. No, oh, right, that way is blocked by a landslide. Yeah, we can't quite come over there. Whoa, what the heck are these? Looks like there's some new fishy minions. Looks like there's some new fishy minions. Alright, let's fight some. Octopods! Oh no, they're like after rocks, but you know, not quite as, you know, they're like after rocks, but you know, they got pots. Like, that reminds me of that one, you know, puzzle game for the Wii. Wait, was it for the Wii? Yeah, where there was octopus, there was octo, where there was a bunch of octopuses. Yeah, it was like a puzzle game. Oh no, a group of enemies. All right now, murking and vicious griller. All right, we need to take out that vicious griller. Get out of here. Excellent. All right, where falcon slash go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Adversary purified. Alright, ramp level up, good. Excellent, we gotta level up. Adversary is purified. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Say, what's that shiny in the water? Shiny object! I told you guys, I'm really, I'm really easily distracted by shiny objects. That's why I can't really, you know, play, uh, you know, uh... That's why I can't really play any video games, because, you know, I get curious about, you know, the whole world and everything, and, you know... Sometimes people like to troll you, and, you know... I, I can't play Mario Maker, because every everything, you know... Because there's so many troll levels that, you know, everybody does nonsense with. Actually, I'd be kind of down for playing some troll levels if I ever got Mario Maker. Hmm. And I must confess, I'm not super. I'm not really very. I've never really, you know, made a good le made any levels. Not not really ever really. Oh, look at this! This is a ride. Iron Maiden. Uh oh. Hmm. Not the rock band, the torture implement! <laughs> Alright, now let's spin the win. Adversaries purified. Yeah, they just fall off their cage when they die. Yo, look at this! Alright, guys. Hero has been captured by this evil monster, and, uh, it's gonna do stuff to him, yeah. Actually, I'm not really sure what the monsters are gonna do when, when, once they get once they do this, but you know, it's probably not good. <laughs> oh. Great part about Iron Maiden is you actually are protected from all the enemies. You, you can't actually encounter enemies while riding it, and you know it is a floating enemy. All right, Savanda, so let's go see your dad. Let's go see Granddad. Granddad. Granddad! <laughs> Granddad! <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Mm, yabba dabba do. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I got I got ancient me I got old stale crusty memes on my mind. <laughs> mm, I apologize. Green day Green Day <laughs> Hello there. Yes yeah, sir. So Alright now. It's just a parade. Hello there. Alright now, let's go see let's go get an audience with them, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Is that his wife? Or is that just, you know, me? Don Rodrigo. Is I, Hendrick, it's been too long. Also, what the heck happened to you? Huh? Hendrick? What happened to you, dude? <laughs> I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. Alas, there has been precious little cause for Yes, the evil one runs the land. We gotta take him down. Don Rodrigo and I have much right, now. Sure, I will fetch Silvando. But first I should take a look around this room. See if there's anything good to find. Yeah, I'm sure Don won't get upset at me, you know, stealing this, you know, pilfering through his things. Also, is this a book? Does it have a recipe? Yes! Platinum plating! You learn to make platinum headgear. You learn to make platinum mail. Oh, cool. We can finally make some good stuff. Now, if only we had some good platinum, yeah. Oh. Yo, can we make that right now? I want to check that out. All right now, the platinum headgear is def is a little bit more defense. Oh. Oh, and it turns out the platinum mail is actually weaker than what I got right now. Oh, it does have protection from incoming spells, though. Ah, oh, and I'm I'm needing an item for that that you know I have only one of. I do need Maiden's Favors as well. Let's see if they're both... Let's see, 2-2-2, two, 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 that's 8. I need two Sunny Centrines. The Magic Beast Horn are actually pretty good. I should probably make the... Actually, I'm going to make these things later. I'm going to make them when I get to a campsite or in the safe points. I'll do that. In I'll do that instead of making them right now. That way, if I you know screw them up, I can you know uh, just you know save over the game, and you know just make it the way I want to make it. Yo, where's Savando? Went down to the big staircase that leads to sea. Okay. Yeah, if he's going that way, I'll just go right now. Looks like they're quite jolly fellows. I like that. Ah, there he is. Hey, Savando. What's going on? Oh, hey. Yes, I. Yes, I wanted to fetch you. It's so silly. I know. Happy to put my neck on the line and fighting the Lord of Shadows. His father in Phnomnon made me think I could oh, find Really okay, place. dude. You've heard what happened with me and him. I heard about it from Sir Hendrick. Hendrick told you, huh? He was training to be a knight. So far, I would stay in Puerto Valor. Then the circus came to town. It was so and he wanted to be an entertainer instead of being a knight. I walked into that tent. But Papi, he Wait, what? So you... Well... Got smashed, I... But I wasn't going to let that stop... Knight and smiling armor. I like that. That's pretty good. <sighs> I, didn't have anything to I like that. That's so good. Oh, dear That's kind of what we do. We try to do in dreams. It's now or never. Let's... 
bell. It might be the influence of the Sealy Court, maybe. No, oh, maybe just a little. Not too much, though. Yeah. Alright, so Vondo, let's go talk to your dad about, you know, helping your little friends here. But you went out of your way to, you know, recruit every last one of them. Which means Avando gets a, you know, a really cool costume that, you know, really ups his charm. Now, charms are really important set for Savando. It's kind of one of the only characters that it really matters for, really. Actually, it, actually Jade, it matters for Jade as well. Yeah, since they both have skills that scale off a of charm. Pink Pirouette is a skill that, you know... Hmm. Pink Pirouette is a skill that's... There's a skill that scales off a charm. Mm. And Jade also has some skills that also scale off a charm. Mostly on her Leer Tree. Now she does have Pink Tornado, which is really, really good. It's just good for clearing mobs. Come on now, you don't need to hide, you know. I <laughs> mm. Now, Berto! You dare to show your face in my presence? I, I just... Sorry. What are you apologizing for, foolish boy? What, what do you mean? You have succeeded in making the world... Yes, and that's what we're trying to do now. We're trying to stop the Lord of Shadows. Because he's wrapped all the smiles from the world. Then why are you here? Why did you come back if you have not yet done? As you Don't worry, we will. You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make every. Hey, calm down. It's okay. Yeah, we could use some new skills that you know could help us. You know, fight them. You know. Fight the Lord of Shadows, you know? Damn you, boy. <laughs> oh, he still thinks of him as a knight. That's so good. I guess it wasn't very... We need to take him down. Yes, we need to stop him from making everybody miserable. I will never break another oath. Of course, Bobby. You just want one thing to. I picked up a few friends in my travel. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know, someone to lead them. Here they come. <laughs> uh, they just summoned a they summoned a whole horde of performers. <laughs> oh, don't tell <laughs> He's awfully manly. Yes, he is. Oh. Alright, don't start, don't start, you know, touching everything and wrecking everything. Alright, so Vondo's gonna explain everything. Okay, sure, I guess I'll help them. Ah, uh, what, what are we doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Savando's old costume! Alright, yeah. But you have to agree, yes. <laughs> yes, the knight's word is his bond, yes. I guess I agree with that. <laughs> well, okay, Savando, I agree. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, I like that. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, enough mucking up. Alright, enough of 
Alright, now. This is so good, I love it. Yes, these guys will learn how to be knights and learn how to be strong. So they'll be able to take on the- so they'll be able to protect people much better, yes. After all, Don Rodrigo is a very skilled knight. And the most noble. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, whenever I play these games, I get zoomies and everything, and yet, that makes me really, really happy. As soon as Morgan does defeat, I'll be right back to you. Oh my no, you'll see. Oh. Alright now. If you call us, we'll come running. Kit Parade! Yeah, we get a cool pep power out of it. Yeah, sadly, Silvando and Hendrik don't get, you know, a skill a second skill tree till uh, Act 3. Like, for whatever reason. It'd be cool to have them with, the, with those skills, but you know. So and helps a little bit with Kalasmos. Well, Silvando does get some decent skills, but you know. Silvando rejoins the party for real. Excellent, I love having him back. Welcome back, Silvando. Oh, she's anchored east of here. All right, we got a ship. All right, we got a ship too. <laughs> oh, my horse sailor's back. What? How did? How did you just find it, Savando? Uh, you know. So Silvando just found it somewhere, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Oh, Silvando's really dedicated. I like him. Isn't he such an amazing friend? <laughs> Savando is the most amazing friend ever. Well, all the friend all of our friend all the friends of all the friends of Hero are pretty amazing now. <laughs> but Savando is one of my favorites in this game. Hey, you know, wish he, you know, actually got the second skill tree, though. But he does, he's so power, but he's so powerful, he doesn't need one. Alright, the great thing about, you know, Iron Maiden is you can't actually get, you know, you can't actually encounter enemies. Which, you know, is a bad, which, you know, can be a good thing or bad thing, you know, depending on your perspective. And sir. Oh, is that a big coral monster? Yes, it is. Alright, the ship is over there. Alright, we will use that later. I will use the ship later, I promise. But for now, I'm going to, you know, settle in. That's so good. Oh, wait, we have it in our stable. We have the Iron Maiden in our stable, yo! That's pretty good. Yeah, what do you got for sale? Alright, do you have anything? Oh, we- I guess we could take a couple big bones. I should probably buy a few big bones. That might be useful, I don't know. I have few crimson coral. We don't really need any of this gear. It's kind of this gear is kind of useless, though. We still got the icicle dirks. All right, now is that is up your list for fade outfit even better, though? No Marty Garb. Parade participant. The Parade Master, yes. That's a good costume for Silvando. 
And he joins at a he's joined at a pretty recent level, so you know that's pretty good. Alright, that's enough for today. I'm sorry I didn't really play as long as, you know, last time, but you know, I did pretty good today. Alright, now I uh, just need to, you know, get off the game. Alright, let's go look for somebody to raid. No, I'll probably do. I'll be doing a one person raid, but that's okay. That's not like everybody has to show up every day. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, well. Hmm, alright, I'll go, I'll go do Riona. Raid Anglet. I think I'll read Anglet instead. It's been a while since I've done that. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Bye bye now. <laughs> you know, I try to talk and be entertaining, you know. At least I try to, anyway. Moonbat. Moonbat read. Goodbye.